This might be the most fun I've had doing this challenge so far. I think all three characters in this video were just way more diverse than the last batch. Everyone had their own little twist and aesthetic that was super fun to incorporate. For those who don't know how this challenge works, basically what I do is I ask ChatGPT to give me some details for a potential persona and then I go ahead and draw them. I've done this challenge with Wings of Fire characters as well, but it's just super fun to take words and turn them into something visual. And I mean, I think we should just get right into it. Let's talk about Kepler. So let's read what ChatGPT had to say about Kepler and then I want to talk about some things that I thought about while drawing him. Name, Kepler Starfield. Gender, male. Sexuality, heterosexual. Species, Black Panther. Appearance. Kepler Starfield is a sleek and majestic Black Panther persona. His fur is a deep, lustrous black, exuding an air of mystery and elegance. His eyes are a striking shade of emerald green, radiating intelligence and a sense of adventure. Kepler's form is lithe and powerful, designed for stealth and agility, with sharp claws that can easily scale trees and navigate dense jungles. Personality Kepler is a charismatic and adventurous persona, embodying the spirit of the night and the wild. He has a playful and mischievous side, often found exploring hidden trails and discovering hidden treasures in the depths of the forest. Kepler is fiercely protective of his territory and loved ones, willing to confront any challenges that come his way. He's a natural leader, commanding respect with his confident presence and his ability to navigate even the most treacherous of terrains. Other features? Kepler possesses a unique luminescent moon-shaped birthmark on his right shoulder. It appears to glow faintly in the dark, further emphasizing his connection to the night. Additionally, he has retractable, razor-sharp claws that can extend for various purposes, such as climbing, hunting, or self-defense. Something that I've noticed chat gives most characters is the whole very protective of friends and family thing. And I think I've talked about how most of the characters have that aspect to them, but there's something about Kepler that I feel like he is more of that than others. Like he is a big like, we're a family, we're friends and we're a family, like that kind of guy. And I designed him with a big idea of space in mind and his name was actually not Kepler, but chat mentioned that he had a moon-shaped birthmark on his right shoulder and I was like, okay, I gotta like lean into this some more. So I did the moon-shaped birthmark and then I had the idea, like it just came to mind. I was like, oh, I, I have to do this where he has this super detailed like starry face that I really love. And then I also plopped some on his tail as well. On the ref sheet, I put these patches like the eye patch and the tail patch for like just easy to be copy and pasted onto his face. So if anyone wanted to adopt him, I would send them transparent PNGs with those so that they could easily plop them onto his face or they could draw it themselves. I love drawing these starry backgrounds. I really need to draw them more, but that's just what made drawing Kepler super fun. Chat kept mentioning how like life and powerful he is. So I was like, okay, this guy would definitely wear a sleeveless hoodie. I feel like sleeveless hoodies are the classic like workout fit. And in my last video, I asked ChatGPT to give me some clothing ideas, but for Kepler, I just already had this idea in mind that he would wear a sleeveless hoodie and then some workout shorts. So yeah, 10 out of 10, very fun to draw. Super fun to design. I loved the green aspect. Usually I do space drawings that are more purpley and blue and cyan, but doing like a green space drawing was super fun. and Phil pretty unique to draw because I, I usually do those other colors. So yeah, Kepler, super fun and adorable. Loved giving him these whiskers too. I attempted to do little jaguar spots at one point, but then I decided not to because that would make his design overly complicated, as if it's not overly complicated enough. <laughs> so yeah, that's Kepler. Love him. Next up, we have Sable Serengeti. Gender, female. Sexuality, pansexual. Species, caracal. Appearance. Sable Serengeti is an elegant and unique caracal fursona. She has a slender and agile body characterized by her medium length cinnamon brown fur. Her fur is adorned with striking elongated tufted ears distinctive to the caracal species. Her eyes are a mesmerizing shade of deep amber filled with intelligence and curiosity. Sable's coat features subtle patterns resembling desert sand dunes, which gives her a blend of elegance and adaptability. 
Personality. Sable is a free-spirited and adventurous persona, known for her love of wide open spaces and the thrill of exploration. She possesses a natural curiosity, often embarking on journeys to uncover hidden treasures in the deserts and savannas. Sable is fiercely independent and values her freedom, but she is also deeply caring and empathetic, especially towards other creatures she encounters on her travels. She has a playful and mischievous side, often engaging in acrobatic displays and showing off her agility. Sable is an advocate for preserving wildlife and natural habitats, using her charm and intelligence to raise awareness about conservation. And then I asked Chat what clothes she would wear, and it said, Sable might often be seen in light flowing garments that capture the essence of the sun. She could wear a sundress or tunic in golden or warm earthy tones to match her sunburst patterns and her earrings. These outfits would reflect the brightness and warmth of the sun, providing both comfort and style for her adventures. Sable may wear accessories that emphasize her sun-related features. This could include a sun-shaped pendant necklace, earrings with sun motifs, or even a sun hat to shield her from the sun's rays while adding a touch of style to her ensemble. And it said this could include, so I just chose one of them and that was the earrings because I felt like including all three of these things would have been too much, especially the hat. I. I think I actually, you can see in the time lapse at one point, I do try and include it, but I just couldn't incorporate it. And finally, Chad said, Sable may have tattoos on her arms or shoulders that incorporate sunburst designs, further highlighting her connection to the sun and the savanna. The way I incorporated those desert sand dune designs was on her back. I really love how the desert design turned out on her back and the tattoo looked really good and I think the sun earrings turned out super cute and overall just had a lot of fun designing her. She also has kind of a green theme going on with her ears and her eyes. Oh yeah, speaking of her eyes. Yeah, chat said they were amber, but I didn't like how that was looking, so I just changed them to green because most of the caracals I was looking at when designing her had like these mossy green eyes, and so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go with green eyes. And yeah, I really loved drawing her tattoo and her back and her little hairstyle. And I also started on this drawing where she was sitting, but then I was like, yeah, none of none of my other refs have like the character sitting and I think the reason is it was taking up a lot of space. So here's that extra little drawing. Maybe I'll line and color it someday, who knows, but for now it'll be appreciated as a sketch. Oh yeah, and the clothes that I made for her, I did like these overalls. I thought they were super cute. And she has like a nice loose shirt underneath. So it's kind of like easy to wear and like flowy and free. So yeah, that's Sable. I really loved designing her. All right, shifting to the complete opposite aesthetic, we have Aurora, who is an Arctic fox, and I did a snowy theme for her, which is pretty fun because I had just finished working on a desert theme and now I had this snowy theme to work with. So let's talk about what chat had to say about Aurora. Name, Aurora Evergreen. Gender, female. Sexuality, bisexual. Species, Arctic fox. Appearance. Aurora Evergreen is an enchanting Arctic fox fursona. She has a petite and graceful build covered in thick and fluffy white fur that provides insulation in the frigid Arctic climate. Her fur is accented with delicate shades of pastel blue and lavender, resembling the colors of the Aurora Borealis dancing across the night sky. Aurora has striking ice blue eyes that sparkle with a sense of wonder and curiosity. Personality. Aurora is a gentle and free-spirited fursona, radiating warmth and kindness. She possesses a serene and peaceful nature, finding solace in nature and its tranquil beauty. Aurora has a playful side and enjoys exploring the snowy landscapes, often leaving behind footprints of joy and laughter. She is known for her compassionate and empathetic heart, always ready to lend a helping paw to those in need. Aurora's inquisitive nature fuels her thirst for knowledge and understanding as she seeks to learn about the world around her and the creatures that inhabit it. And for her clothes, Chad said, Aurora would embrace her snowy environment with a wardrobe suitable for the cold. To complement her already plush fur, Aurora might choose accessories like fuzzy earmuffs or fur-lined gloves and boots. Soft, pastel-colored scarves would be a part of her attire, not just for warmth, but also to add a touch of elegance and style. These scarves could be embroidered with delicate designs or patterns reminiscent of the Aurora Borealis. All right, and that's what Chat said about Aurora. 
One thing that it said was that she has a petite and graceful build, and I wanted to draw her a little bigger because my past two characters were pretty skinny, and I didn't want to be drawing the same body type over and over again for each character. Surprisingly, I really loved drawing her clothes. I thought that was going to be something that I struggled with, but the jacket and the scarf and the earmuffs and the gloves were so fun. When chat said I should give her fuzzy earmuffs, I was like, oh, that'll be so cute. And so then I drew them and my partner pointed out to me how earmuffs exist to keep our ears warm. And the way that I drew her earmuffs does no such thing. Like, <laughs> But like, that's how people draw earmuffs on animals, right? Like they just put them on the base of the ears. It does nothing to warm up the ears. And I think that's hilarious. But also, I don't know, it still looks fine. So I'm keeping them because they're cute. And I just appreciate that he pointed that out because that's hilarious that they have no function whatsoever, except to be cute. Another thing that I really liked drawing was her scarf. Chat said to give her patterns reminiscent of the Aurora Borealis, but I was like, no, I think a knit scarf would look pretty cute. So I did that and I just put those lavender and pastel blue colors across her body, like on her paws and her tail. And I put little snowflake patterns in those areas as well. And yeah, I loved drawing Aurora. She was so fun. I really liked doing like her purple lavender eyeliner as well. Yeah, overall, just super fun to draw, as were the other two. I'm gonna be honest and say one of my favorite things about drawing and designing is when someone else tells me what they're thinking and like general ideas, but they don't really have it all figured out. And then I get to go in and design the final visual representation of this character and that's why I love doing this challenge is because I can get a vague description of a character and then kind of go in and add my own details and create how I envision a character would look based off of the details I've been given. So yeah, that is Kepler, Sable, and Aurora. I really love drawing all of them and you could have seen them all weeks early if you were a part of my Patreon. Yes, I have a Patreon. If you wanna see stuff like this early, then feel free to join that because I really appreciate everyone's support and it's super fun to talk about my process while I'm going through it and to share what I'm working on as I work on it. And it's just a great way to support me as an artist. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed definitely doing more of this in the future. So that'll be super fun. But yeah, for now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or night or week or whatever. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video.